Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Wednesday night NACE Star League Valorant. We're going to be having St. Clair College versus University of Wisconsin Stout. Uh, I'm joined by Danners. Danners, how are you doing? Yes, hello, hello. It's good to join you here, doing well. As we have, of course, our undefeated St. Clair College squad here in NACE Star League going up against the University of Wisconsin Stout, a squad that, to be completely honest with you, I knew nothing about this squad up until yesterday when we did play them in Overwatch. Yeah. And they held their own. Not not bad squad to say the least, but we get to play them once again here. But this time they in some Valorant that. action, they are currently sitting two and three. So having a rather middle of the road season so far. Mm -hmm. But of course, just like any matchup, don't sleep on them. Yeah, of course, anything is possible. That is for sure. Uh, we're gonna be starting on a scent here. Uh, St. Clair on defense. A couple players playing left-handed. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, little switch up, I suppose, for some of these players. But I mean, you're used to whatever you're used to, I suppose. As we have our first round underway, of course, taking a look at some of the players to start things off here as we see Seep on the side of University of Wisconsin. Looking to maybe make that first initial attack towards that B site. But uh, with the spike down at the moment, they're still taking their sweet time. Yeah, USC taking it slow, gonna get rid of that KJ turret, but looking to go through mid, but St. Clair is kind of reading this. Revealing it. Oh, D. Young going to be taking down Gub with Standing the ahead. ghost. Yeah, Gub falling really early is going to make any sort of last possible defenses a little bit more difficult. Four tapping going down, definitely giving Wisconsin the edge here as they do make their way over to the A site. We do see the KO on the side of you, Wisconsin, right there. Caillou going to try and make a trade. However, it is going to be a double there for Sammy on the side of you, Wisconsin, which means it's all up to the KJ, all up to Sushi and a 1v4. Probably going to make the attempt because it is just a pistol round anyway, but this one looks like Wisconsin should be able to clean this one out. Yeah, as well. Turret just about to pop up as well, but that door's closed, so he's going to have a tough time here, especially in a 1v4. Two, two of the Wisconsin players, very low oh. on health, <laughs> but gets detained. Or not detained. <laughs> uh, silence. Yeah, as if this wasn't any... Or as this is, excuse me, as if this wasn't difficult hey, enough, so she's gonna have to try and go through multiple. Does manage to take care of the young here, but the spike is gonna blow up. Granted, a little bit of extra bonus, I suppose, for getting One a couple of eliminations eight. there for Sushi. Valiant effort, but it is gonna be the round over to U.S. Wisconsin, and they're gonna get strike first blood in this match and get themselves quite the uh, the uh, money lead to start things off here. Yeah, gonna be seeing a force buy out of Wisconsin here. I like the Guardian pick from Sammy. Okay, someone's feeling confident. Yeah, looking to get these one-taps, but Sushi is going to be picking up the shorty. I'm excited to see where they're going, especially because Wisconsin is going in their direction. I mean, I guess if they're going to go for all these um, SMGs plus, of course, the one Guardian, I feel like you just do the close quarters battle around the A site, which not, but at the same time, I guess they have plenty of time to figure that out, make some adjustments as they do see fit. Got the KO making a little small peek towards that B side, but overall, rather quiet. It's going to be, I think, four tapping and Gub here to get the first initial one. It's going to be the trade back and forth here. Gub is going to go Trapping's down, but at least Breezy does go down as well. Four on four action here. Plenty of time still to go. Where is that spike? That spike is down towards the B side, still in the hands of the Omen. Four tapping on hot pursuit does take care of Sammy, and that was the one with the Guardian. Oh, oh this setup is beautiful. Exactly where you want to be, Shorty. Close range oh, he combat. He does pick up a gun as well. Does spot the jet. It does oh. not get the shots off. That's going to be De Young taking care of Amzuwu. And it's going to be Wangle as well to also put this into a two on two scenario. Saints have to retake. There are a couple low health bars here on both sides. It's going to be quite the finish to this round. Yeah, this is really, really reliant on Caillou here, but he does have the Owl Drone and his Recon Dart. Gonna be pulling out that owl drone to get some, just get some info. Does I believe he spotted both of them as well. Yeah, push yeah, Look at this. Gets the info on both of them. Oh. Immediately taken down as soon as he entered the smoke. The one on two now. Definitely not in favor of four tapping. Gets what he does have that guardian picked up actually on a 3k. De Young gonna run for his life. Can he stick this? The sound cue, of course, is gonna go through. Does he peek it? De Young is gonna get a 3k for themselves. Take care of four tapping and shut down the round, giving Wisconsin a 2 0 lead in this game. Yeah, I was gonna say he can just shoot right through that green box. Uh, very wall bangable. Absolutely. Yeah, they probably would have just had the SMG in that situation, but still 
I think, it's like, like you said, weak enough that you can go right through it anyway. So, for tapping, valiant efforts, but could not quite get the job done this time by. Going to see some hesitation here on this side of U.S. Wisconsin as to how they want to handle their buy for this phase. But uh, Saints definitely on the comebacks of sorts. They're maybe they'll get a couple of rifles for themselves. Sure enough, that is going to be exactly the case. And oddly enough, U.S. Wisconsin, at least as of right now, did I just see basically a, a save round while, while leading? Yeah, well, they did force last round, so they're kind of waiting for, oh, yeah, the, uh, for the St. Clair bonus to come through for round three. A couple sheriffs, a stinger, <coughs> and I believe a guardian pulled from the last round. Nope, that would definitely make sense here. Sport Tapping going to get spotted out being alone on the ace side as of right now. Four members from the side of University of Wisconsin hovering around that section. Only the on. Killjoy uh, towards that midsection, maybe looking for a couple of picks. Do they opt to attack into this? Their KO looks like they're ready and waiting alongside the Sova, so could make their move at any opportunity. And it left on the clock here. Yeah, Wisconsin playing very, very slow here. Going to be spotting out the KO with the knife. Uh, very, very slow, but a Ooh, default. Okay. Nice kill by down a. Yeah, that's what you'd like to see. The headshot going to take care of one. Oh, Looks for the other. Tank. De Young, though, was the only person who bought up and found the penetration uh, headshot. So beautifully done. Left. Ams in the meantime, in the background, on that jet, Making some of that uh, duelist work come in clutch here, taking care of two. The momentum was on Wisconsin's side for a second there, but not anymore. Saints with the 4-2 advantage here with uh, a couple seconds left to go. Yeah, even with getting that kill on four tapping on a save round, Ten seconds left. You, you take One what you can get. Remaining. Gub. Kai, oh, from the top. Both. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Just, of course, Caillou from the top rope. Going to finally shut this one down here. Saints getting uh, two rounds against them, but now going to answer right back. And their uh, wallets aren't too hindered, to say the least. They're no. losing so few people in that round here. We've got all the assault rifles you could possibly want. Granted, this time by here, Wisconsin is going to have equal footing, but they really have to stretch to make this happen. Yeah, it's a very even buy. One player each with light armor, but we're going to be seeing the knives on De Young here. Uh, so this this will be an exciting round. Probably not going to be pulling in them out this this round. Uh, probably on the next uh, next save round. Right. There's a lot of times where we'll see the the jet like when they have their ultimates just opt to not buy anything. Right. So it's interesting. Granted that ultimate inside. is available, oh, but opting for the rifle anyway for tapping. Going to find the young immediately. Gub oh, going to find himself in one v two. Finds the one, but it is going to be traded out pretty well immediately. Three on three to go for tapping. In pursuit here of Breezy. Does spot him out immediately taken down. Beautiful headshot to seal the deal in that regard. But now the side of U-Wisconsin making their way towards that B site. But it is completely occupied, including the ultimate coming out of four tapping to rotate over. Yeah, the, the perfect defense uh, with only get, getting that, uh, one that enemy teleport remaining. ultimate. There goes the one four tapping with the finisher here for the 3K. And Saints, even though pretty much equal firepower, just handily jump. secure that round. Absolutely, and looking at these new, um, I'm going to talk about skins, because I am a skin fanatic when uh -oh. it comes to this game. The new Oni bundle, I bought it myself, and my bank account is hurting quite a bit, but it is so nice. If we can take a look at Caillou, I believe he has the katana. Oh, oh yes. It's beautiful. Beat them back. Sucker dear, but I, yeah. will, I, I will admit it definitely does look Get pretty out of my way. Uh, at the same time, I hear an ultimate getting popped here. This is going to be DeYoung here. Did opt to, to just leave it as pistols, take the knives, pop the ulti, see what you can do. As the rest of the Wisconsin squad as well, I do believe, just opted for a save round in this regard. So similar to your bank account currently after buying the skin, it looks like uh, U Wisconsin's <laughs> kind of broke as well. Yeah, yeah, going to be going for a save round. But as we can see, the omen taking the space up mid. But we're going to be see seeing Gub kind of checking it. But he is in the... Wangle going to be in the smoke. Oh. oh okay. Okay, a little sheriff action off in the background there. Ford tapping is going to be on the wrong side oh. of that one. But hey, what's better than the sheriff? How about the op? As Ebbs is going to find the trade pretty much immediately in this scenario. Breezy all by them lonesome here over on this B site where there is, of course, the Sova on the Saints side of things and the Killjoy. But without the spike in hand, Breezy is just kind of scouting in this regard. Oh, and... 
Breezy gonna be taking all the space. Sankar is not even noticing. It. Uh oh, he gets caught out with the grenade. Okay, I would have been very surprised if they would have been able to pull that one off, but oh. the Saints on the retake are at least getting a little bit of work done here. But right now, Wisconsin is just finding utility after utility on the side of the Saints, and it is just making things extremely difficult to kind of move in through. And the finisher, why don't you? M's 3K with the off. Yeah, that was a that was a beautiful play by Sushi. Uh, gonna be getting that that first initial kill and then activating his grenade to deny the push mm -hmm. as well, taking uh, the Wisconsin KO to half health, which made made it a perfect uh, perfect defense. Absolutely, the perfect support play. We don't often get the opportunity mm -hmm. to shout those out enough, so good eye on that one. Of course, it's not always just about the gun skill here in these FPS titles. Got to maximize use out of utility, just like what Sushi and the rest of the Saints were able to pull off that time by. Yeah, I don't know if, if it's an ego pick or Fortapping saving, but he is going with light armor this you round. Should run. Someone's feeling a little confident then in that regard. <laughs> I think it, either that or they're just Wrong saving for out. next round because of the ultimates being played out by Wisconsin here. Okay, we'll just call it calculated, but we'll see how this round turns out here. It's going to be the initial killjoy coming out here from the Wisconsin side. Not going to find anybody, but now the Saints are forced themselves into a really awkward position. But to be fair, Wisconsin don't really have that much of a stranglehold here onto this B site, even though that killjoy uh, was in position. That is going to be Hunter's Fury coming out as well from the side of Wisconsin. It is going to mow over uh, Caillou before tapping in the meantime from the shadows, just making this work. Finds three. Sushi with a beautiful headshot as well. Going to make this all up to Sammy. 1v3, yeah. no chance. Four tapping, 4K. Even with the light armor, not even taking a single hit. Calculated of, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll call it calculated. Not, not even taking a single hit of damage as well. That's, uh, that's immaculate. Thank you. Yeah, immaculate efficiency, to say the least there, from Forward Tapping and the rest of the Saints, I guess, going to clean this one up. And I will say, getting the opportunity to talk to some of the players on the stage prior to the matchup, was asking them how they were feeling going into this one. And uh, Forward Tapping and, I, and the, uh, Coach Owen, they both look at me and it's like, this is going to be pretty much business as usual. Yeah. And I, my response is, okay, so you're, no thinking, you're thinking rather confident, nothing special? And they, re they reply, it'll be special if they get six rounds on us in each game. So some very, very fire comments coming from the players feeling extremely confident. And I'll tell you what, if Fort Tappen keeps playing the way he is right now with the, alongside all the rest of the Saints, I think I believe them. Yeah, they're they're definitely on track to, to keep that scoreline. We're going to be seeing Wisconsin traveling through mid. We're going to be seeing the Hunter's Fury coming out uh, by Caillou. But not going to be pinging anything at the moment. Again, I believe it's white. Oh. oh and <laughs> did that go right through the turret? It did, it oh. did, it did. <laughs> Collateral damage and maximum efficiency. Utility, kill, one bullet. Don't get much better than that. And pistol versus assault rifle. I think Caillou wins those, absolutely. Three versus five, make that two. Four Eight, tapping four finds tapping. himself another one. And we have M's and four tapping just pushing together. They're gonna go right into one Sammy and De Young. Oh, Caillou gonna find the other one. Sammy, no chance, my friend. Looks for the shorty style kill. Is gonna answer that one, but four tapping with the second kill of the round. Gonna take care of Sammy. Yeah, he's uh, he's been really in that specific play. We didn't necessarily see it um, on the observer cam, but him holding that uh, A through to going through tree, mm -hmm. really held that down, put the smokes down. They were, Wisconsin was just right, a, as soon as they were right about to push, he throws out the the flash or the blind and keeps them, keeps them at bay and again, they take the round. That's all, always such an awkward situation to kind of put yourself in. You're pushing W, you're moving forward, ready to push on through, then there's a smoke in front of you. It's like, oh, did we keep doing this or uh, wait it out and then give our position away anyway? Oh, Caillou, okay, gonna find Breezy, just easily cover the pants down in that scenario. Ams as well finds Wangle and just shuts him down. How oh, about a second okay. one? Headshot as well. Takes care of Sammy beautifully. Nice shot by Cubs as well. Yeah, definitely definitely business as usual coming out of the Saints here. Gov gonna be taken down by Seep. But he's getting swarmed from both ends. He's gonna be pinched. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, does find the one. The Saints just have to swing together in this regards. 
received triple, and there, sure enough, poor tapping eventually from the shadows, as always, going to show up from behind and get the elimination. But concerning how that round was going, the fact that uh, Seep and U Wisconsin did as much damage as they did do, that's a small victory in itself. Yeah, it to to kind of minimize their economy. Not that it is minimal at all. Uh, trying to just trying to make them go for broke uh, is definitely a, a bonus, but. Another save round out of Wisconsin. This is not looking too hot. No, granted, they're going to try and maybe make some Sheriff magic happen here this time by with maybe a couple of rushers on that SMG. But otherwise, it is definitely looking like a hard time here once again for Wisconsin. As we see, Ams just perched up, oh, ready the with way. the op once again. Such an awkward smoke to try and have to bypass. Granted, a little bit of COD timing coming out here as, as soon as Wisconsin start thinking about A. Yeah, uh, here they are. Gub's gonna be the first to spot it. Does have that flash available too, so some solid value. Maybe slow things down a little bit. Yeah, gonna be. Yeah, there's a lot of utility coming. Oh out. boy. This... Okay. Okay. Yeah, the young's gonna answer with the one initial one. M's did find a new spot to perch up. Never mind. Never, or never mind perching up. I'm right behind it and open fire for tapping alongside M's. Who going to just shred through that entire push? I like the idea. They went for a little bit of a rush play towards A, but that's just a big scenario where, of course, your gun skill plus just having the extra firepower was just that much of a different, and yeah, that's gonna force the timeout. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the UK wall is definitely in. Four tapping in M's True. combined for 28 kills with 10 deaths. Absolutely on fire. Put in their money where their mouth is so far in this matchup. 7-2 rather quickly here into this round. But while we do have the quick opportunity for a breather, let's take a look at some of the maps that we will be seeing past Ascent, where we have Fracture and Haven. And I know uh, some of y'all have a pretty... Uh, Interesting take on Fracture. To say yeah, at least. I, I have a very love-hate relationship with <laughs> Fracture. I'm a Fade main, so like Fade is, Fade is definitely not ideal on Fracture, but it's like my most winningest map that I've played. Like, but yeah, you I, don't really it's like. So, <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I don't like the map, but like I mainly just play Swift play. But we win the Swift play, so I don't know what it is. But it's a it's definitely a it's a questionable map getting. Like the the sandwich plays that you can do on that. Absolutely, one. it's 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 not my favorite. <laughs> it's not my favorite to say the least. It's one of my favorite, but not for strategically. Missing just being minutes. able to go yeah. uh, sliding across all of mm -hmm. the uh, all the ropes and whatnot and, and find all these funny angles always yeah, makes yeah. it for a fun time for a silly casual like myself. But uh, one thing that needs to shape up real quick here is going to be U.S. Cons and of course still on the attacking yeah. side for the time being, and they are going to book it nice and quick. Yeah, they really need to here, especially with that Killjoy coming through, or the Killjoy ult coming through, but they do... They got taken manage, out. Yeah. They managed to take it down, and they're getting set up for the, for the post plant. Planted. But St. Clair, right on their heels. Suppressed. That's going to be Wangle there over right to the left, and they oh, actually shot, shut down quite a few members on the side of Wisconsin. Gubbs moving forward. Did they take care of the person behind them? Yes, they did. So three on three to try and push it through. Four tapping continues his dominance here on this game, taking care of seat. And that oh, good call out, that was the right idea, but just could not quite find the shots necessary. Last two on standing. two, one on two. Now four tapping does go down. Ams has the op. Can they somehow pull this off, or are they going to... Just opt to try and run away and save that gun. But it's not like the Saints are going to be hurting. Does manage to get the one on the Sammy, but immediately traded out by Breezy. And Wisconsin stops the bleed. Yeah, and he doesn't manage to pick up the op either. It might just be a strategic play not to pick up the op, especially on offensive side. Yeah, but sometimes you just don't. <laughs> yeah, but again, St. Clair's got the money for tapping back on light armor. So we'll see how this one goes. Hey, it worked last time. Let's yeah, see what happens did, this did, time did. by here. Meanwhile, on the side of here, Wisconsin, they should be pretty much good to go for buys. I was going to make the comment about DeYoung not having a buy, but they got their ultimate, so who cares at this point here? Knives are probably going to come out. Sure enough, there's the audio cue coming on through. DeYoung is going to have those knives out ready to play as the rest of the Wisconsin squad are kind of split up here. However, Spike is over on that A side, and the Saints are actually pushing on through right onto the Spike carrier. The KO has no oh. idea. You of course, run. you see five and one there on the map. Have them pinned down. There's no chance that Steve's going to get out of here alive, right? Uh, there's a possibility they're both flashed, and they line that's up. Rough. So she gets the headshot on Seep, and that's bombed down. 
Yeah, this is terrible this now. This is not good. W literally the complete opposite side of the map yeah, is what Wisconsin locations. has to deal with. They're all towards the A site. They have to play TDM at this point here, and I think the Saints realize that as they slowly start to oh converge towards A. Oh, but they had the Omen ult, and the Omen picks up the bomb, even though St. Clair was fully rotating to hold that spike. But the Omen ult comes in, and so they're able to plant the bomb. Okay. But well, I believe Wisconsin used about two of their ults. I do believe they have the Hunter's Fury online. In that case, you just run and try to find a place to hide for some of these last couple of sections here. Checking a nice little angle there to try and check uh, check Hell out. But it is going to be Sushi and Langle going shot for shot here, two on two. Oh, the but the Hunter grenades, Fury yep. is still there. Nowhere to run. Sure enough, going to open fire. However, One it's being immediately grenade. chased down. Breezy, huge cover there. Sammy would have been a sitting duck, but does get taken down from Breezy. One on one here, time. and Sammy's just playing time at this point. Sure enough. Caillou's got to try and fight it. Not going to happen. Not enough time anyway. And Wisconsin get Last another round. round before the switch. Yep. It's looking to be a... I'm expecting an 8-4 to four half just because of the buy coming out of C. He only has a Spectre coming through. St. Clair on the full buy. Emery or Emzuwu by mistake. <laughs> Sorry. He's in, he's in my classes. I call him Emery. Uh, Ems not going to be able to pick up the op. So we'll see how this goes. This just reminds me of a copy pasta that you would just put into Twitch chat. It's like, oh, yeah, let's go Emzuwu. But I know him personally, so I can call him Emery. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that, that's kind of funny. But nonetheless, here, let's see if they can, Saints can stop their own little uh, counter momentum here. Hunter's Fury coming out extremely early. Yep. Ems going to be kind of in the way of that. But Sammy spots two and knows that Caillou is in. But in the back spawn, uh, just from his Hunter's Fury, but look at this mid push. Here. Sushi on soul defense. Emzuwu going to be giving him some support. Oh, the pinch oh. is possible here. And it is going to be Kai who finds one, finds oh. a second yeah. one. Beautifully nice. done. Ems is going to find an additional one. How about a third for Caillou? This two-pronged attack was absolutely perfect. Sealing the deal with the fourth one there onto Sammy. And the Saints answer back huge here in the last round of the half. Yeah, what a round by Caillou. Pulls out the Hunter's Fury in uh, defender spawn and then rotates through tree to secure a 4K. That's, that's some pretty good stuff. I mean, that's the dangerous part about going through that midsection, right? There's just so many, like, so many opportunities options. of getting flanked because, okay, sure, in theory, if you have those two sections, like, blocked off, you're stuck looking through the midsection. Yeah. But if you're kind of stuck and the, uh, the opponents are a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit lower there, exactly where Caillou was, you can't check all those right angles. Here. There's three separate angles that a flanker could be coming from and just absolutely decimated. Yeah, and especially on the attacking side, if you're looking to retreat, you only have one one place to go, and that I'll is through you. mid, where you're gonna get sandwiched. It's it's a tough it's a tough spot. Uh oh. Okay, Sammy, showing up huge here for University of Wisconsin. Breezy on the board as well means it's going to be four tapping. They switch to the attacks and they absolutely get shredded here. 4K, Sammy, nice job. Yeah, the uh, I like the ego sheriff off the first round. That that's that's <laughs> True. definitely yeah, that's definitely a personal favorite of mine. Now he's going to be pulling out the bulldog with the full armor. I like I like this play. Yeah, I'm always a fan of the Bulldog. I know it's not necessarily the greatest of weapons, but the little um, scoped three-round burst or oh, whatnot is just so satisfying. Yes. And I can't use a Vandal to save my life. But enough <laughs> about my, like, iron-level skills. Let's get back to the actual good action here as we have, of course, Saints opting not for that B Blitz this time by. Still stuck kind of with a save round after losing that pistol round, which is pretty Getting standard ahead. nonetheless. A little bit of a mid plus A kind of start to this round. Yeah, very, very slow play, looking to get their information. Just kind of test the waters and see where these Wisconsin players are. Going to be seeing D. Young. Yeah, like right in, in that corner. Spot. The I was going to say, but Gub is not. It's not scouted. Yeah, he's not, and he's not going through A main either, so he can't check that with his mall. I call it a molly, but it's like the explosive. Right. So, and Beautiful. That's exactly what happens when you don't check that corner. 
Find yourself paying for it after the fact. However, Ems does get the initial shot here on the seat, picks up the Marshall, so it has a little bit of extra long range capabilities now in this opportunity here. Sushi moving on forward as well. Gonna make the run towards B site. The only one there is going oh, to be the KJ. Be some interesting timing coming out of this one. But Breezy gonna be looking at the old orb, but he does have his turret for info. So he knows they're coming but doesn't know how fast they're 30 going. Seconds left. Yeah, lots of mines set up around this initial entrance here. However, that is not where the Saints are going to be pushing through. But do the Wisconsin oh, squad know that? They actually managed to squeak into this B side, I think just under the guise of Breezy. So they're going to be able to get this plant down. And Wisconsin none the wiser. And the Saints have an opportunity to get a little bit of a post plant here. Yeah. Going through this, especially with their health bars, they're going to have to be playing some perfect Valorant. Lined up and ready to go. That smoke oh. was pretty nice, though, on the side of Wisconsin. That definitely messed things up there for the Saints. Oh, it is going to be M's going down. The Marshall that close is a little bit rough. <laughs> and Sushi slowly but surely trying to dodge some of those bullets. But with two HP and a Dream, they are going to fall in this one. And Wisconsin going to keep this defense rolling. Bring this to 8-6. Yeah, especially with Spectres as well. You can just... W key and run, and you'll be you'll manage to be able to pull out a kill. Coming out of those three players from Wisconsin, all you have to do is just press W and go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> press W, open fire, and get the job done. As they were successfully able to do here. Freezy gonna be part of the Bulldog Club this time by it looks like. As the rest of the squad, and kind of a little bit of a mix. Mitch. Not necessarily. A full buy by any means, but still a little bit of savings, but still plenty of opportunity to make some plays there with that share. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna definitely have a nice buy for next round as well. Oh, Kai immediately. Oh. Sushi as well with the the uh, cover going through up. the wall. Missing up my good. Oh, oh, Gub's gonna find the initial one as well. Breezy is in for a world of hurt. The only backup is way down by A site. Oh, and sure out. enough, when they go down, Caillou gonna be immediately there to take the, the refrag, which means now over there, Angle has gotta I try and deal it. with four while being on the complete opposite side. And it's gonna run into a rock and a hard place here. Gub is gonna be the one to seal the deal here. Poster boy for this, uh, this matchup here on social media, going oh, yeah. to be sealing the round. Yeah, excellent job done by Caillou and Sushi as well, getting those entry frags to B site, especially because Wisconsin's only putting two players on B. Usually it's the ideal with the Killjoy and the Sova, especially if the Sova has an Odin. It's usually trouble going onto that B site. Please, Gub, that is not allowed. Ay, ay, ay. But, uh, Let us hunt. I mean, I know these uh, the in between sections of rounds can sometimes take a little bit of time. <laughs> I'm just going to say they're antsy and ready to go here, but nonetheless, Saints looking towards that B site. Once again, Breezy is going to be there, loaded up with all the Util mines, turrets, so just absolutely all over the place. Going to be spotted out by the uh, M's, I believe this is not, not M's, but the uh, Caillou, exactly, bingo. All the utility in that regard, Breezy gets taken down nice and quick, and because there is next to nobody on that site, it's going to probably be a free plant. Yeah, Wisconsin just completely gave up mid, and St. Clair just... Walk right nah, through, nah. four tapping, playing with his food. Oh. Gub gonna be taking the second, but De Young, what? Woo. Where is he standing? One enemy it was remaining. Like right on top of the archway, it seemed for a second there. Use some of those updrafts that maybe get up there. And Granted, that's not that's still the greatest angle. De Young gonna answer with two, however. Make me eat my words, but however, gonna get taken down at the end of the round. Nonetheless, there's Sushi cleaning things up. Yeah, excellent job by St. Clair out of that round. Yeah, the, they just, Wisconsin just completely gave up mid, and St. Clair just taking advantage of the space given in securing that round. It just feels like B is just being handed over so yeah. easily, thanks to some of that um, freedom that the Saints seem yeah. to have towards that midsection. Like, how many times have we seen four tapping or AMs or somebody just making their way through that section for the flank? Just gets rid of the Killjoy extremely quickly. And that's not even Breezy's fault. I don't care how good you are. No. You can't watch two angles at once. No, it's nearly impossible. You, Especially with this turret being taken down as well. You should run. You, you can't do much. Oh, this is going to make things difficult. Lockdown. Even more than it already is. Sammy is here, but it is going to be 
right on the outskirts of where that Killjoy ultimate is available. Caillou is going to take care of Wangle as well. And how about another? Yep, once again, just a double vision here. Most of the Saints going towards B, but then you have the long range shots coming through from Caillou. Seep is going to answer. It does finally take care of Caillou, but now this is just being outmanned and outgunned at this point here as four Saints versus two of Wisconsin make that one. This round's good as done. Not going to go down without a fight, though. He does have a Vandal in his pocket if he wants to use it, but look at the there it goes. go to the knives, but Cup going to be securing that kill. 11 round Saints looking, looking real bright. And what you were saying before, Coach Owen saying more than six rounds is not going to be happening today, so let's see if they stick to it. Oh, yeah, right. The Saints have to win now, right? So yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens here. Nonetheless, though, Wisconsin still putting up a fight in their own right here. This game is definitely not over. Not yet, and after getting a couple of decent uh, runs here, they're going to basically go broke. They all got their skins. They all got their guns. It is basically now or never. They lose this one. We could probably see that next round go down as well, unless a miracle pistol round happens. Yeah, unless Wisconsin pulls one out of the hat here. Exactly. But Emery already shutting down arguably the best player on Wisconsin at the moment, at least on this, on this map. Yeah. But down Hunter's a. Fury coming in, denying the... This is a good dodge by M's. Yeah, solid dodge is going to still make it so that he can end up planting the spike in the end. It was down to that last quarter of health. That Hunter's Fury did tag him, but just not enough to take down. It's going to be all up to Wangle. And then number nine there over in the corridor. He's going to get answered out. It's going to be Sammy waiting there. With Wangle going down, it's going to be all up to Sammy. Last one with the full... Ammunition oh. does take care of M's a nice little snap on over, but when you go up against M's and Caillou, one of them is going to get you. That's going to be 12-6. Yeah, especially with the right click on, on the classic. Point. You can you can just jump jump peek and get it and s squeeze away a headshot. But we're going to be seeing quite the buy out of Wisconsin here. I do love yeah. the judge. The resident judge pick is my favorite <laughs> thing to ever. It, I hate to play against it, but I love it when it's on my team. I mean. You might have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Fracture. I have a love-hate relationship with the judge because you're either <laughs> absolutely legend, like Legend 27 level yep. like epicness, or you just fed. It's, it, there is no in-between usually, as we do see Caillou bring out the Hunter's Fury pretty well immediately. Gub does have that all to keep himself alive for at least a little bit longer here. Or tapping does go down as well. So Wisconsin starting this off are doing a solid job. Three and three. Sushi, though quietly here, finding a couple of eliminations and trying to go around the back to spot the one, but a big pick there from Breezy. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of an extra external reach from St. Clair, looking just to shut down this map pick, thinking that they only had a pistol buy, but a couple Bulldogs, a couple Guardians coming out from Wisconsin. But, oh, they don't have to swipe that stuff. This is good for Saints here. They're going to have to battle out for sure with the positioning of that spike just being in between all three. But that's how you start things off. Breezy is going to go down. A two on two, much better. Caillou finds a one. It's going to be all up the wangle. And you can't deal versus two. Game over. Game one going over to Saints 13 6. Yeah, that was a fantastic 2v3 from St. Clair. Yeah, I was able to clutch that out very nicely, to say the least here. Taking a look at some of the statistics after that matchup there. And pretty much, it was a very, very hot start for four tapping and M's. Mm -hmm. And then Caillou, slowly but surely, through that round, started getting up there. So we have the three Saints all at the top of the leaderboard with over 20 eliminations in their own right. But, of course, eliminations are not the entire game. Mm -hmm. Gub and Sushi find themselves a couple of eliminations as well in the meantime. But, of course as the support players. You yep. might not have the flashiest stats, but you have the flashiest bangs. Yeah, I'm I'm really liking the uh, the assist column out of St. Clair, especially with Caillou, four tapping and Gub, all with nine and 10 assists. Mm -hmm. the, the the KO and Omen, I can, that's kind of, it's kind of a given from, uh, from kind of their roles. But mm. you're seeing, uh, seeing Caillou with nine assists, it's, uh, it's, it's really nice to see. No, absolutely here. So now, game number two. Going to keep looking at this in the at the stats in the meantime here. But I do want to talk a little bit more about Fracture. We did kind of touch on it mm -hmm. a little bit during the game itself here. But 
At least personally, I feel like Saints don't see Fracture too often. It's usually one of the banned ones when it does yeah. get down into a best of three scenario. So it's interesting that it shows up here. What do you think is going down? Yeah, I do. I do think it was a U Wisconsin pick, uh, okay. selecting Fracture. So it might be one of their comfort picks. Uh, I, I just kind of watching over Owen Sh Coach Owen's shoulder when they were doing their pick and bans. They, I know Caillou was looking at playing Pearl, but as soon as he said he wanted to play Pearl, they insta banned it. <laughs> uh, so seeing Fracture, looking at and especially looking at the VCT lock-ins as well, uh, I haven't, I didn't see a lot of breach, which is usually was like one of the meta picks or like the the comp picks mm. to have on. Uh, on Fracture, excuse me. Yeah, absolutely. And it'll be definitely interesting to see, because I know for a lot, for Breach specifically, it seems so map dependent. Yeah. Because we don't see it too, Not too, too, too often, often at all. Yeah, but I also did see the uh, some Viper picks uh, coming out of, I was watching the Fnatic game, I believe. Uh, so seeing a... Seeing a viper today would be uh, an interesting sight. Just with the the wall, just the wall alone uh, is a is a really useful tool. Uh, oh, absolutely! Anytime you have one of those extremely long sight lines, you can just get ultimate value out of that wall. It would be absolutely amazing in its own right. So, of course, fracture going to be up next here for game number two. Saints relatively convincingly taking care of game number one. That being said, Wisconsin did hold their own in their own right, getting six rounds this time by. Will they be able to pull it off in game number two? We'll have to figure out. We will be taking ourselves a very, very quick break to get the lobby set up for game number two. So don't go anywhere. Game two, up next.
Memphis here. Game number two underway. We are at Cracker Space with the rather dominating first team one up against the first team one. Yeah, we just said that game had been pretty good. Cracker being so resourceful. Now he's just attacking the space. Can he put it off on the track? That's probably oh. the Four tapping. It's the chamber pick. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, with with the like, he's still a viable character, but like being with the quote unquote nerfs, especially with this teleports, uh, it makes it really hard to kind of cater uh, to the playstyle that used to be what chamber's playstyle was. But uh, it seems to just kind of be an ego pick coming. <laughs> From four tapping, this is, I've never I've never seen him play four tapping before. He usually, is on that smoke. I've never well, I've never seen him on a duelist at least. But Chamber is a, technically a sentinel, but he's essentially a duelist. Are you telling me four tapping is confidence? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, this should do. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice spot. What in the cipher trip wire was that? On the st That goes there. What? Yeah, that happened, I believe it was uh, Optic versus DRX game, uh, I believe it was last season. Uh, but it seems there is a match timer pause. Uh, but, yeah, it happened in uh, happened in an Optic, I believe I believe it was against DRX, I'm not 100% sure, but all five of them were trapped on the zip line, and, uh, and I believe it was Crashies, just aimed down sights right down at the zip line. And yeah, mowed him down for the ace. Spike down, attacker spawn. Yeah, and looking at this health, that was a, down a. Well, angle taking down too, but yeah, look at the assist, the assist coming out of those kills. The the raise nade uh, from the side of Wisconsin was picture perfect. Last player standing. Yeah, this fire fight from Wangle and Ems. In between that door uh, goes the way of Wangle and Breezy gonna be shutting. Shutting down four tapping uh, with the, I forget what it's called. I call it the Deagle, even though it technically technically it's the Sheriff, but it's the the ability. Yeah, the, the Juan D is what I'm referencing to. That goes there. Goes here. Grenade. Yeah. St. Clair starting my love hate relationship with Fracture with uh, four tapping, and I 
believe it's M's on the raise, starting on that back, starting on that back side. But looks like the brimstone of Wisconsin is reading the rotations. Last player standing. Wow. Spike down. B. Yeah, now I, I'm starting to see why they did pick, select Fracture. They're doing a very good job on this defending side. They're just, yeah, they're just in the right right spots at the right time. Even with a marker play on a Brimstone as well. I don't see that too often ever, but they're obviously making it work. Yeah, and as I was discussing before, not seeing a f me being a Fade main, and talking about, oh, we don't really see Fade on Fracture, but we're going to be seeing Caillou on the Fade. I didn't even notice. That goes there. Until I saw the, um... The key. Uh, it's... That works. Like, her haunt is... Like, her haunt is a really good, like information seeker but going off of like a, a silver recon dart for example there are a lot of different uh, a lot of different walls you can like bounce the dart off of so it's kind of it's kind of a more ideal situation i do i remember i was talking to caillou within the past i believe it was last week or the week prior that they made some some hud changes to the player hoods like the uh, the abilities nice shots by sammy um and they said that some of his lineups were a little messed up due to the HUD changes. Uh, so that might be why we're seeing him on the fade. Uh -oh. Put down. My ultimate is ready. Barrel. One enemy remaining. Last uh. player standing. Nice. Yeah, and going off of mainly seeing, mainly seeing breach. Oh, my my mistake. <laughs> uh, seeing seeing the breach on. On fractures, like one of the one of the main picks, and that's and that play is exactly why you throw that that stun, and it's neck unless you have obviously these guys are excellent players, so they do have the aim to back it up. But unless you can hit those crisp one taps while stunned, it's it's you next want to near play, to impossible. Let's play. Gonna be seeing the tour to force out of four tapping, trying to get some see if uh, the KO was gonna ego chop, but no, he's sitting in tower, going towards A. Now is St. Clair throwing out the the dog. I forget the technical term. I just call, everyone calls it a dog, so I'm going to go with, keep going with that. 
Well, I have to hope that for the sake of the Saints that this attack is not done. We are going to see the plants come on through here. Nice. Fortapping going to find some value here with that Tour de Force going to take care of Seed. And now as the rest of Wisconsin looks to converge here onto this A site. But the Saints are pretty nicely set up here. Fortapping making things awkward. And it's allowing for Ems and Caillou to find these angles. All of the breeze. He does manage to find the one on the Caillou. Nice little shot there. But with DeYoung and Breezy up against four Saints and going up against or running into a Tour de Force, it kind of uh, it's kind of stacked up against you here. Frenzy kill. Yeah, all right, DeYoung going to make that trade happen. And there it is, four tapping with the 3K, maximizing that value out of that Tour de Force. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing about Chambers Tour de Force. It's a one shot no matter where you hit him unless it's mm. a wall bang. You can hit him in the pinky toe and mm. it will still be a kill. Uh, but oh, excellent so play nice out of St. Clair. That was perfect execute. Yeah, one here. thing I'm still trying to wrap my head around is you said you're the fade main. You touched the keyboard and you blacked out everything. Like, okay, hold your yeah, powers uh, back yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Save the utility right. for later in the round. Yeah, the uh, the phantom touch uh, kind of messed up the uh, the game capture through our uh, our screen here. That was my <laughs> yeah. yeah, I found that funny. Don't, <laughs> don't be very all good. We're going to have the ult popped immediately here. And it's going to be, yeah. Um, it came up from the same side of things. And four tapping, where in the world? He had a flank to remember, apparently. Right on through. Yeah, four tapping with the, I, I do believe three of the Wisconsin players, they were just W King through B main. Oh no. Towards that, that southern side of the map. Mm -hmm. And four tapping, just lining them up perfectly. And then Caillou taking them out in the, in the defender spawn. Line them up, I guess, and absolutely take value out of that nice little quick triple. I will consider that round amongst the uh, Observer Nightmares, where oh, you blink and all of a sudden the round's done. Yeah, those, they're all... <laughs> that round would definitely go into it. Definitely <laughs> tough one, to say the least here, but not if you're on the side of the Saints. 4-2 lead going into this one. Lots of utility, lots of firepower going into this one. The side of Wisconsin going to be hurting ever so slightly, trying to hold up this defense. The Saints are looking to maybe pursue A this time. Yeah. Caillou taking all the attention off of uh, the three Wisconsin players on B. Emery, Emzuwu going to be taking out the rocket launcher. Oh gosh. Sushi with the... Uh, I'm losing all the names. They just dropped the tactical They're, nuke on yeah. them, apparently. Just absolutely shreds that corner. You had a bazooka <laughs> or the showstopper and a nuke. How much more do you need to throw into this One corner? But the Saints are going to be able to get value for it, but not as decisively as I think that they were hoping for because you still lost two members in this altercation. You still have Breezy up. And something could very well go through here, but it is definitely a tough spot to be in to try and make this play as a cipher. Yeah, we know that the stinger definitely has its has its benefits, but in this firefight, this I it. do not think this is going to be successful. <sighs> yeah, there it is. As soon as it's stinger up against a vandal, okay. Four tapping going to win that one every day. Going to take care of that. Get the Saints their fifth round here in this matchup. But Wisconsin still keeping this within range. Only three rounds down, but at the same time, it does feel like the attackers. Like maybe a little bit attacker sided, so to speak, because of all those avenues the, of attack that you do have to deal with. Yeah, the ins and outs. Going, yeah, especially it's basically a defender's nightmare. Getting sent like or a, a FPS player's nightmare. Getting sandwiched is probably the worst thing possible that can ever happen, especially in the two view, in like a two v one situation. It's it's either they line up and you get the, the two piece, or Ooh. you get at least get one and then you get insta traded. But <laughs> Taking down. space, what is this? Oh, instantly oh, answered. What is this cross? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wouldn't have noticed that until you mentioned it there. I'm more in awe over the two-tap headshot coming out there from Caillou. But yes, that, uh, that's something that I would use, but I'm also blind as a bat. So, I mean, <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah, I remember that they, I forget what game they were playing. I think it was Quinnipac where they also pulled out the interesting Last crosshairs. And I believe it was Caillou and Seth. Seth not in the roster. Teleport the starting roster today. Um, but yeah, pulling out these weird, weird crosshairs that I would never dream of even attempting to use. Especially because it's where backwards. Like, there's the, the, the small gap in the middle where they're like, their headbox is coming through. 
It's like almost permanently yeah, flashbanging you yourself. You, you yeah. can't even see. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're trying to get headshots, but the head is literally gone. But it's going to be up to Enz and Wangle here to make this happen. The and spike's the already shorty. down. He's waiting for him. Wait for it. And there it is. Jump shot shorty. Going to be the finisher here for Ems. Gets out just in time so the spike doesn't even detonate on him as well. Yeah, their their economy is looking pretty great right now, so I don't think I think it's more of a stat line to 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 stay alive more more than the the economy saving. M, yeah, M's alone has 7,300 with a full buy already, so he's uh, he's rolling in the dough. Stylish, cocky, and calculated. I <laughs> I guess I kind of like it to say the least here. The way that the uh, Saints are playing as of this moment, of course. Still plenty of wiggle room as we see a nice little sheriff shot. That nearly oh. nuked Sushi's health bar immediately. It is going to force some additional utility out of here, but Caillou immediately going to find an elimination on the other side of the map. Yeah, combat stim going to be coming in from Sushi as well, giving them that extra movement speed. And I do believe it increases your fire rate. I'm not 100% sure. I believe so. But Face your fear. Wisconsin giving Saints the entire A site. They just let it, let it go. Yeah, that fade ult on the side of the Saints kind of made Wisconsin hesitate. We see them all on the doorstep, but with so many Saints occupying so many different angles, I do not know how you reach the site here from the side of Wisconsin. Like, granted, yes, you have the brimstone, but you can't really brimmy stimmy yourself into this one. You're going to walk right into a shorty, going to walk right into some rifles, and it's going to make things so difficult. I don't care how good you are, you're not getting there in that angle and a flawless here from the saints as all five members stay alive yeah that was a, a wonderful job by the saints i do believe wisconsin was on a bit of a save round that might be why they gave them the space that they needed but let alone seven to two score line four tapping on top of the leaderboard again with 11 doing an excellent job Man, can you imagine all the skins that you can buy with this money that saints have right now like my goodness 7k 6k you would have, well, that's true. You'd probably be able to get one knowing the right shop, if you know what I'm saying. But, I mean, <laughs> nonetheless here, the Saints are sitting pretty here. Have plenty of rounds of uh, wiggle room, to say the least here. Okay, you're going to lead the charge here from the southern side. Meanwhile, the rest of the Saints, including the Spike, is up on the northern side, hovering towards B. But the flank coming out here, actually, from Wisconsin, they're not opting to stay on the A point. They are going to chase down the bait here. Caillou is going to get lit up for at least a little bit. De Young takes care of Gub. Sushi going to at least answer back. Though with such little health left, Caillou's going to fall as well. And this one actually looks really good for Wisconsin. Yeah, looking really good for Wisconsin, especially in the 4v2. Oh, there's a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely, we have the Duke coming on down here as well just to clutter up the screen even more. Ams is going to find one, but this is still a three on what? Or on two, There's one more left yeah. to go. Seep, sure enough, in the end, is going to find Ams. Does get a couple shots back, but the side of the Saints will be shut down. Wisconsin, after a very, very rough beginning of this round, having seven go pretty well unanswered, finally, right before halftime, going to answer back. Yeah. But this, uh, on the side of Wisconsin, DeYoung going to be having to opt for this Bulldog due to the economy. Mm -hmm. And Wango with light armor, so we'll see how they do. But it looks like he's going to be pulling out the ultimate here, which should catch a few Saints, but they might be able to get out of the way. You want to play? Yeah, we'll Let's have to see play. how long they hang on to this. Smoke is going to go down here on the Saints side of things, but of course Wango does not care. That would end up hitting two of the Saints here. It is going to actually cause Ems to fall. Whether that was related or unrelated, I'm not sure, but that is going to be Saints falling here. The Wisconsin getting first blood. Gub and the rest of Saints moving towards B site where there's only Breezy left to defend. He is in quite a good spot though, but that has the right firepower. Yeah, but that what Breezy's staring at right now is definitely wall bangable. But Sammy going to be taking out Caillou as well on this flank. They're kind of sandwiched at the moment, but it looks like Saint Clair going to be taking the under. The underpass on the way over, but Breezy's got a camp set up. I was gonna say, of course, he's got a little bit of extra utility here with these extra cipher cameras as well. So all sorts of eyes on the site, and the Saints are definitely like towards that B site, but they're kind of trickling a little indecisive. It feels like, and Sushi's gonna fall for tapping. Does have the tour de force, but attacking with it can be a little bit more difficult than somebody 
like running into your post to say the least here. So with two Saints left to go up against five. This one is not looking promising. Okay. Oh, nice. um, good run oh, to get out of there. The bait and switch from four tapping. That was cute. With the teleport. A gift. Yeah, very well played to uh, bait himself. <laughs> <laughs> How about no? Tried to let him know. Gonna be a 4v1 for God. Oh, the <laughs> okay. The f I thought that he actually planted that there, but I guess that was not the case at all. Gub is gonna trade Last one for one, in the half. but Wisconsin gonna take care of that. And now we're at that halfway point. I was one round too soon in that in that regard here. So even with the wins. I guess um, economy doesn't necessarily matter now. Everybody's able to buy up as much as they want for tapping. In fact, does have full armor, so that is a good sign that's, to say the that's least. Good, that's good. Um, oh, an extremely high firepower rounds going to finish off this half here. A couple of ultimates on deck here as well. well I'll be looking to see Gub and Ham just try to line something up here. And the, we do have a, a crosshair change from Caillou again. Uh, probably because his vision was abysmal with that previous crosshair. Woo! <laughs> now just holding left click, taking the space that St. Clair needs. Oh, here comes the showstopper coming out from M's as well. Fires it off, but I don't think it's going to find its mark. We're just going to spray and break uh, here with Caillou. And that is going to be immediately shut down by Breezy. Breezy's just like, bruh, and just shuts it down immediately which is just going to leave it up to two of the Saints. Four tapping still alive here as alongside Ams. But can they make this happen? Ams is going to find one, but still a ways to go here in this 2v3. Especially with the Cypher ult spotting both of the Saints players here. Yeah. Taking it super slow with this with this tower hold. They got, 40, they got 40 seconds to work with here, but Spike is down, and they're all holding up at the right angles. Oh. Yeah, this is it. Oh, just gonna rendezvous and try to make the play happen again. Definition of insanity. Again, clutch here, but I guess you're not insane if it works. So he's gonna find one. He's gonna find a second and make me shut my mouth. Can Ams finish this off and just absolutely make me eat my words? Very possible. They have the spike. Spotted, however. Waits for it. Finds the shoulder! Okay, there's a reason why uh, I'm not on the field. I'm, I'm just a commentator and a producer. <laughs> my goodness, beautifully done. That was... Uh, that was the luckiest <laughs> slash most <laughs> calculated, like, yeah, cal calculated luck to say the least out of four tapping and M's. Again, the British wall coming through to secure secure the eight the eighth round to make it the eighth to four half. Well, I, I'm speechless. I don't I don't even know how to he comment. I don't even know how to comment on that. He peeks around the corner, goes down to a quarter HP. Rendezvous back. Want to watch me do it again? Yeah. <laughs> That's the exact same thing, exact same angle, but somehow manages to seal the deal and find a second one on top of that to just line it up there for the one-on-one -on -one with M's. And just yeah. not optimal, but it worked. So, I mean, we can't complain. Yeah, I don't even know how four tapping didn't die even in his teleport phase. Like, <clears throat> he gets, like he's idle there for at least like a second, at least, a second or two at least. And Sammy wasn't able to pull out the kill, but uh, yeah. But yeah, new round, new half, board tapping, picking up where he left off. Immediately finding the Sheriff kill on the Wangle, but it is going to be answered up for people immediately. Another one going over there towards the side of Wisconsin. Sushi Spike going to immediately answer. So everything answered one for one so far until Sammy finds Caillou. <laughs> Caillou playing a little bit of the Counter-Strike surfing and going, <laughs> going through this A lobby. I was going to ask what all the hopping around was yeah. about. Man's playing Frogger here on Valorant, apparently. But uh, Sushi, with all these smokes coming out, is going to allow him to get He's onto site. And does spot the one. Yeah, However, I think Seed really got the first nice initial shot. jump. Two on one, but next to no HP Ooh. is going to end up going down. The Valiant's effort. But Breezy going to get Wisconsin on the board here yeah. first in this half. Yeah, he did d get the dink on Breezy, too. Just unfortunate with the ghost pick. Bit of a, a troublesome with the distance, uh, or sorry, with the range uh, for that headshot damage. But we're getting close to that round six scoreline, going off of what Coach Owen was saying earlier. These Cypher lineups are so weird. Yeah, well, while we were in that brief break, I went over to Owen and it's like, so he did say six round, six rounds, right? He's yeah. Like, yeah, he looks yeah. at me, did you think I was lying to you? <laughs> <laughs> and immediately calculated, so. We'll have to see if he can stay true to his word here as Wisconsin are definitely on that doorstep of 
round number six, to say the least, after winning that pistol round. But, of course, they can be way more than that if they can find themselves a little momentum. It's going to be all up to Sushi to try and hold this B site as Wisconsin Nobody moves through. Out. Yeah. Look. Just looking at Oh, my. The, oh, here we go. Huh? Secures, uh, that's that's a perfect trade. We'd love to see those. Uh, for 100, especially for 150, 150 bucks, you, you'd love to get a, a one for one trade with the Bulldog. Yeah, 100%. That being said, though, Saints now in a tough position, of course, once again, as a three of them versus the four trying to get this retake. And it seems like Wisconsin have this whole plan pretty well good. Caillou's going to find the initial one onto DeYoung. Looks for that jump shot right click, and it is going to be immediately answered by Sammy. Not going to let him get away with that. One but the Breezy going to take care of Ems as well. And sure enough, it is going to be a bunch of one-on-ones, but it is going to be Wisconsin and Breezy finishing off the round. Yeah, a bit of an uncoordinated push by Saints. I mean, they did a very, very solid job of trading, but mm. they were a player down, so it didn't yeah. quite work out in their favor in the end there. Breezy, of course, having the last laugh in that regard, but... Now, the Saints looking to buy up for tapping classic. Yes. No uh, full armor this time by. But that being said there, um, it's a their money pockets are so time. hurting. Are, 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 excuse me, are hurting so much that it, you probably had to in this situation. I can't blame them. Yeah. But uh, a little bit of an all-in round, and mm. Sammy just immediately gets dinked. I I'll find you. Deletes Sammy. I'm looking to take more, but... The breach stun doesn't help out with the. What is this cross? I've. Uh, I'm so confused on why down. I keep doing this. There is sometimes. There's two things. There's a time and place for everything, and sometimes you just don't ask yeah. questions. And I think this is one of those you don't ask questions moments here with some of the Saints crosshairs, to say the least. Here. Is it the um. The uh, the Mario. Uh, it looks like a Mario the, pipe. The, the the pipe? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it looked like in the beginning. Got him. Young gonna be taking out M's who's making that rotation. Gonna jump, gonna One be taken enemy down, remaining. And traded. And back and forth, back and forth, leaving it all up to sushi. And sure enough, you have someone coming from both ends at the same time. You're not gonna get out of that one alive. And hello round number seven, Wisconsin on the fight. Yeah, and going through that was a bit of a s I wouldn't say a save round. It was more of the the Saints bonus round starting the half. But Saints had just about a full buy, and mm. Wisconsin had like specters and stingers. I was about to say, yeah. To come out with that round. Yeah, Saints were definitely not trying to s you know what save to with the amount of cash that they had left, and you can tell that they are absolutely hurting here. Wisconsin in such a fantastic position in regards to their economy, yeah. and make it even more so by eliminating four tapping basically immediately. Yeah, four tapping going for a bit of an ego peak uh, with his deagle ability. I'll. Differi differentiate, say ability, just to <laughs> just to make sure. But now, Wisconsin taking it slow towards B. But smokes are down from Sushi. And the attacking side, they're pretty spread out here. Maybe not completely committing here on this B side. And while the rest of the Saints, with the exception of our fade over there, Caillou of course going to be towards that A side. A little bit of transitioning going on over now. They are reading this correctly, however, a little bit under hand, to say the least. The high ground is nice, but the smoke is definitely making things difficult. There. Yeah, well, them. weird push by Wisconsin Five having three, guys, three people in main. Okay, immediately finds Sammy there. Trying to call this one through the Mario pipes, but it is not going to end up going on through here as Wisconsin finds three oh, immediately unanswered. Apparently, Sushi has gone to Mushroom Kingdom here as well, to say <laughs> the least. But with four versus the Judge, yep. um, you're going to have to find your APM elsewhere because I don't think it's going to be done by stopping the spike. No, going out with the Corgi spray, thinking he's got that <laughs> dog in him. But with a judge, not yet. Oh, yes. got Wait. him. <laughs> I, I will keep my mouth shut. Uh, still, Wisconsin going to be securing this round. Going to be looking for some exit. He might okay. be able to pick him off. Uh. Seat gets in the way. St. Clair really going to have to stop. I won't, I won't say they're trolling, but they're oh, definitely please. doing a little bit okay. of something. <laughs> but they got It's confidence that I think is being answered finally. Yeah, they, Which did, they really got to turn it around because it's looking a little foolish right now. 
It is looking a little sus, to say the least here, as we are now 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Saints were on a hot streak for a while. But Wisconsin just kicked it into gear. They're looking really good now. Four unanswered rounds, which granted, yes, some of it was, of course, pistol round going into the next one. But even on a couple of the Saints by rounds, they did not answer the call. And now we might be seeing a little bit of an additional aggressive play here as Caillou from one end is going to find DeYoung, but four tapping on the other side is going to get taken down. The attempted flank does end up becoming a, a net positive as Gup does find one more. Okay, make that even now. Never mind. Wonderful shot coming out of Wango. But it looked like Saints were going to be going on the flank through attack or spawn, but they kind of put it on pause. M's is just kind of sitting down A main. He's kind of waiting, but yeah. the judge coming in. Oh, oh, oh so, no. So she gets taken down, but <coughs> Breezy on 14 health and tout. And as I say, it goes down. Spike planted. Sammy kind of pinched in this corner. Caillou Last holding the angle. And making a flight. Unfortunately, with the health that Caillou had, I'm able to secure it. Did switch back to a proper crosshair now. Okay, so they have finally left Mushroom Kingdom. They are actually on Fracture now, to say the least here. <laughs> Ultimates are all over the place now for this next round. We could have ourselves some insanity, to say the least here. I mean, between Breach's ultimate and the tactical nuke out of a brimstone, that's enough to uh, call this Overwatch for a little bit. <laughs> but uh, with everybody else as well, Ams has the showstopper as well. This is going to get nasty quick. I don't expect that they're going to use them all at once. That would be quite the uh, fireworks display if it is. But lots of options available, to say the least. Yeah, Wisconsin taking this round slow. Going to be going through the underpass. Breezy okay. can be caught out by the Caillou push. Off your feet! Breach coming in from Wisconsin. Yeah, not really going to do much, though, because no one's on site. Yeah, that might have been a little bit premature as they were going towards that B site. Now they're going on through. That is going to be the showstopper coming out there from Ams, but again, it's not quite going to find its mark this time by, and Ams is going to get injured. Sushi opening fire with the pistol from the side, getting lots of damage done. The nuke's going to come on through as well, and that in the long side, Caillou just pulling out a 4K out of nowhere is going to let the Saints stop the bleeding and get themselves back tied up in this game. Yeah, it was kind of seemed like a little bit of an unnecessary ult coming from Sushi, I believe. I mean, you don't expect Caillou to just all of a sudden show yeah, up with a just, 4K yeah. either. Yeah, you don't expect him just to pop out of uh, Defender Spawn and pull out 4. But 9-9 nine, nine half... Or Nine nine half. I'm thinking of CSGO. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> Saints did use two ults in that round. They do have the Nightmare and the... Grenade. I will call it Let's Go because that's what Breach just screams at the top of his lungs when he... Okay. I always the ult through. I always want to call it an Earth Shatter, but I know it's the wrong I game. But, uh, oh yeah, that's... Um, <laughs> that's Reinhardt. That's Reinhardt. That's what that is, yeah. <laughs> Roughly a similar effect, but we do see on the other side of the map a little bit of a back and forth here. Saints are going to find the trade after Sammy initially finds First Blood. With all of the Saints kind of scattered across the map, it's now looking to us content. Looking to make their play towards the middle, and that ultimate is just going to be an airball. Yep, going to be Sushi alone on this, but he pulls out the Molly, trying to get a little bit of tick damage in. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> They're yeah, going. I don't think it came through in time. Spike planted. Wisconsin, three players already on site. St. Clair's have two on flank. But there is a Cypher trip. Yeah, they dropped the fade ult in the process as well. And that's going to make things a little bit more difficult for Wisconsin to try and see through. With Granted, it's been constantly one-for-one -one trades until DeYoung finally finds an additional one. Yeah, Sushi nearly finds that. It's going to be all up to Sushi. Doesn't realize, like, a ship in the night. Going to pass right past DeYoung here. Who's going to find each other first? Oh, I guess it's kind of flash. Wait, he's got a flank on them. That is now a 4K. Possible ace here. If Sushi could find this, Breezy, though, is right there next to full health. Literally anything's going to do it. Breezy's going to shut it down. Such a close opportunity there from Sushi to have an absolute ridiculous moment. And that came out of nowhere in a valiant effort to that. But Wisconsin saying not today. Yeah, I thought Breezy was just you know shoot through the box. It would have worked. Yeah, yeah, you would have. I was expecting him just to shoot through the box, but he actually gave Sushi a bit of a chance to pull off that ace. But he might have not had enough time to defuse. Potentially, 
Maybe, yeah, because it would have just taken at that point with the health level that Sushi had. You just yeah, get yeah. shot on the pinky toe and you're gone, right? So, yeah. like, it was all the ball was in Sushi's court. Definitely had an opportunity, but Breezy just had so many extra options available, just shuts it down. Nicely done in that regard. But now Wisconsin with the lead once again here. A couple more rounds away from possibly sending this to game number three. Haven is in the weights if they can pull this off. Yeah, as, we're, as we can see on the minimap, Caillou holding drop from that northern side push. Ooh. Gabu going to be throwing out the breach stun, which catches two, which is what you'd love to see. But as we're looking at that pre-round, Wisconsin has four ults online. Yeah, lots of utility, lots of options available as they make their way towards this ace site. And it's going to start things off with the showstopper. Sammy is going to find its mark. Takes care of Gub, but he's going to be immediately answered back. Shots fired here from Sushi and Abs. It's going to be two going in there. Caillou is going to find an additional one. It's going to be all up to DeYoung to somehow pull this round back. But it's step one is getting that spike, and it is littered by so much utility. You're not getting out of there alive. 10-10. Yeah, just sitting in that smoke and seeing... And seeing that raise nade come through, it's like that meme with the dog sitting in the fire saying, this is <laughs> fine. Yeah. Uh, ultimately gets taken down, 10-10 scoreline. Let's see how St. Clair or Wisconsin can take this. <laughs> raise nade, molly, smoke, sees, <laughs> haunt, sees like, it, sees oh, whatever. Goodness. They just threw the entire take kitchen sink at DeYoung that time by, which... Now we have ourselves into a little bit of a one-for-one one pattern here. Let's see if the scenes can break that and maybe find themselves a second. As a, that was definitely an eagle chow. Granted, they only uh, end up being the one-for-one one in this scenario. Wangle going to shut it down on the side of Wisconsin. Now, with the spike really far back stuck in spawn, kind of just playing it slow, to say the least, here, as Wisconsin is actually extremely spread out with no set goal in mind, it looks like, right now. Yeah, they're definitely making the smart decision looking towards this A site. Four tapping with the oper op operator, not CSGO. And Got him. Does take down Wangle, but the rest of Wisconsin already set up going one for this A plant. Caillou going to be taking one down from defender spawn. C plant. Okay, this is still extremely doable. That uh, the, excuse me, the breach on our side he does is have still the not here. Too. Okay, that... In that, in that regard, you just hide, right, and just drop an alt at some point? Yeah, you, you just smoke. run away and wait for the, the sound, the audio cue, and let it fly. But in a 2v1 situation, it's kind of it's a little bit worrisome, and I believe St. Clair knows about it. We'll see how this goes. He's going to be getting stunned. Nades and ults oh. are coming through, but they're not they're not peeking. He got him with the... With the oh, my goodness. Oh. Thanks. Beautiful utility usage out it. Gub to secure that round, taking the op as well for four tapping. Uh, so what on earth just happened there? <laughs> I, I, I do believe if we had the bodies turned on, that is four tapping's body. I hate the way that so I, I think he's it. just kind of giving him a little bit of the treatment. Oh, I'm talking about how the heck did Gub eliminate the other guy? Oh, that was um, that's uh, the his E. It's a it's like a pulse it's like a pulse nade that you can attach through walls. Oh, jeez. Uh, so. Beautiful util usage. I was gonna say you don't have to explain the other one to oh, me. Yeah, I've, no, I've I, been in enough I, Halo I lobbies say, to yeah. know oh, yeah. what's Halo going on sure. there. <laughs> and I mean, I know there's no disrespect for your opponents, but I mean, I guess you can kind of troll your teammates. That's yeah, a little different not. ordeal, but uh, if it's friendly fire. It's okay. Oh my goodness, that could have been huge. But Ems is only going to oh, get the one for one as four members were stunned up there for just a second. Four tapping finds one. Caillou finds another. The Saints are, have that Spine W key down, on lock. Maybe Caillou's got to turn around, though. Get the macro going and just send it firing, apparently. Caillou's going to get the triple. And the Saints just eventually decided, W key, we're Match charging point. through. We're claiming this territory, wiping everybody off the floor. Yeah, and the economy coming through. Wisconsin should be able to pull out a full buy here. Uh, maybe minus a piece of utility coming from the KO. I do believe he'll be missing a flash. But ultimately, Anyone he has generous? enough money to buy it, unless he already Thank had you. some left over remaining from previous round. But St. Clair on match point. Let's see if yeah. Wisconsin can turn it around. 
Yeah, so now we're never here for the side of Wisconsin. If they want any chance of a game three, they gotta get the ball rolling right here, right now. And Caillou currently moving up rather deeply into the opposing line. And sure enough, yeah, the Tour de Force is gonna come in clutch here to take care of Sammy. The rest of Wisconsin are trying to run for it, but there's people everywhere. Yeah, regardless of that uh, no command coming from Caillou, he's having to Oh no! He still has a Vandal, but not anymore. That was like some sort of Matrix stuff. Those bullets went everywhere but the head, unfortunately, there for four tapping. And it's going to be the <laughs> shorty, a little bit back and forth, back and forth. It's going to be the Saints' favor as of this moment, as we now have some ultimates popped onto the site. Here comes the Breach ult. This is going to be from the side of Wisconsin. They're looking to make their move. Breezy finds one, Wango finds the other. But Caillou has the flank of a sentry here. Can, can he find the one? He finds them both. He lights them up, and he shuts them down to finish the job. Beautiful flank there from Caillou. When it looked like Wisconsin were going to turn that on its head, they take care or Caillou takes care of it for themselves. Beautiful shots, to say the least, there from Caillou to finish this off. And the Saints, after a little bit of a confident start to this one, nearly got ego checked. A little bit, a little bit. And eventually reconvened and secured themselves a victory here in 2-0 fashion. And when it comes to the scoreboard, of course, going to take a look. The 20 club is going to be specifically for Caillou and Amzuwu this time by. For tapping on the roll switch, still with a solid performance, nonetheless, there on mm -hmm. the chamber. And then De Young had himself a rather solid one. Actually, 20 club over there for Breezy as well. Low key, just kind of baited me with the combat score, but was yeah. definitely a insane matchup in terms of uh, plays. But what do we expect from Fracture? Yeah, and. From the top, from the top three players on the Saints side, having eleven first bloods, mm. that's very impressive to say the least. But yeah, two, I do believe that says two hundred ninety-three ACS from Caillou. That is a uh, close to the three hundred club, which is like the ideal peak uh, okay. for a player. So that's uh, that's very well done. I mean, we were kind of questioning too, like what's up with the uh, the fade pick on Fracture, but they absolutely made it work and love to see it. Like I've said a long time ago when I was constantly doing commentary, mm -hmm. I don't mind being wrong. Prove me wrong on yes. these broadcasts. I will absolutely accept it. There was a few times where they made me eat my words, mm -hmm. which was kind of funny. Yeah. But uh, the side of Wisconsin, they uh, didn't let the Saints go easy. Yeah, they, they definitely held their own on their on their comfort pick, which is fractured. They definitely provided some entertainment coming out of those some of those rounds. They did a fantastic job. Unfortunately, the scoreline was a little bit uh, lackluster, but they, they managed to keep it keep – it, uh, Keep it competitive. At the end of the day, the scoreline in-game doesn't matter as long as the scoreline of the match itself yep. stays the same. So at the end of the day, whether it's 13-6 or 13-10, the only one that matters is the 2-0, which, of course, the Saints get and are able to continue their undefeated streak here in May Star League. And I don't know what it is about our Saints and May Star League in general, but not just Valorant, but everywhere we are seeing domination for the most part yes. <laughs> from our Saints and it's a beautiful thing to see yeah a lot of sometimes especially like a little bit coming from the o from the Overwatch team the um, awesome games done quick episodes are, uh, <laughs> are definitely a treat when we get to see <laughs> get to see those oh yeah just immediately get into the game and then just spawn camp them, right? uh, uh, yep. but of course Valorant not can't necessarily do that but still a very convincing game number one a not so convincing game number two here for our Saints and still, like, of course, good games, of course, to University of Wisconsin. Yeah. Stout. Of course, we, like I was saying before, didn't really hear about them until just this week when we've had to play them twice in two different esports. And to be honest, both mm -hmm. of their teams held their own. They, I think yeah. you've got their own little production and whatnot going on over there. So it's good yeah. to see more and more um, institutions, like, mm -hmm. showing up ready to play and ready to show off their players as well. Because at exactly. the end of the day, it's all for the students, right? So yeah. I'm happy to see it be accepted in more places. Mm hmm yeah, and with that being said, we're going to be closing it out for tonight. Saints going to be taking it 2-0. Uh, pretty convincing fashion for map one. Map two was definitely a close game. Uh, any any closing remarks? Uh, we won't have a broadcast from ourselves tomorrow for th for Thursday night. However, still, if you do end up coming to this the Saints channel or in our Discord as well, at the top where it says the events, there is still a match of ours being broadcast. But, of course, it is for our Academy Rainbow Six Siege team as they are playing what should, in theory, be their sure. nice Star League conference. like Final? Not necessarily the final, but it's the top two teams. 
Like, oh, so like whoever a, wins is probably going the, to be like like the league champ, basically. Okay. It, of course, they'd have to play each other in playoffs like later on, and then we can decide an actual conference final. Yeah, However, yeah. versus uh, James Madison University, that is going to be an amazing match. I know we were initially going to broadcast mm-hmm. it, but JMU yeah, yeah. wants to take care of it this time by, so we'll let them have the Absolutely. shot. Looking forward to seeing all of the R6 players in action tomorrow. So mm-hmm. if you're, again, if you're on our Discord, the link will show up in the event section. Or if you come onto our channel at about 8 o'clock, we will redirect you to the proper stream so you can support our R6 squad as well. Yep. The next time you'll see us here will be Friday for some more League of Legends action, of Ooh. course. Aegis uh, Championship League. A little bit of a mixed bag so far. The Saints have themselves a, uh, a 2-1 victory over yep. like Revenge of the Middle Sticks or something like that. Yeah, their logo. It's interesting when it's not a collegiate team. Yeah, see, I <laughs> I saw their logo in our our little assets page for our marketing team. That was a interesting looking logo to say the least. But the they did manage to pull out the win, and we do have No Man's Land coming up this weekend as well. We're going to be having on Saturday we have our Overwatch Collegiate Championships mm-hmm. going to be broadcasted, and then Sunday we have our No Man's Land in house in the Nexus. Uh, going to be broadcasting the Rocket League Invitational. I do believe it's a two thousand dollar prize pool. I believe you are absolutely correct. We'll have to, of course, get the complete details yeah. on our social medias, and then from uh, tournament organizer Bailey, aka Nitrix, aka the Rocket League legend himself. So <laughs> we'll get more updates from there. But yeah, an eight team Invitational from mm-hmm. teams from Ontario and a little bit of US, from what it sounds yeah. like. So that should definitely be an exciting one. So still plenty of action here. Make sure you're followed so you don't miss a beat. But for now, we shall close things out for the night. Saints dominating 2-0 victory over uh, University of Wisconsin. And we'll see if they can continue later on down the road.